hello guys welcome to another video today i'll be doing the unboxing and review of these 3m k and 95 respirators so these are under the model of 9513 respirators and they are pretty much a very new launch so i bought this off amazon and got them about a pretty good deal these are priced at about 330 rupees and i got them for about 270 rupees so the video is not sponsored in, and these, these are my own reviews my own views on the product so let's start the unboxing so uh, first of all uh, there's a lot of uh, fake masks being sold on amazon so that's why i had to open the packaging and all that so first of all the first uh, mark of being a genuine product is the print quality the print quality is excellent on the packaging and this come in a sealed ziploc type pouches so you have to cut this open this is the main seal and then you have these masks so these are not your n95 grade masks because n95 masks have headbands these have ear loops so these are of uh, Chinese standard there are different standards the American standard the US standard is N95 the European standard is equivalent is FFP2 the Korean standard is KF94 and then is the Chinese standard which is KN95 so these filter about 95% of particulates uh, higher than 0 0.3 microns in size so, as for the build quality and for the fabric quality uh, 3m 3m always gave the best of the materials i can say you can see there's the texture of the outer fabric let me focus yeah and in comparison to the cheaper masks of other brands you can see there's no no fiber hanging out of the fabrics as for same for the inner part you can see there are no hairs or fibers from the fabric loose fibers so uh, that, that's a pretty major problem in cheaper masks they have these loose fibers and they're uh, with use in about uh, for three or four hours uh, they tend to come off they tend to lose the bond of the fabric and uh, you start inhaling all those fibers and that that could be very uh, harmful for your health so i bought some other companies masks i still have reviews of them on my channel and those masks though uh, when unboxed they seemed pretty high quality but with time the, their fibers were uh, pretty bad the the quality of fabric was pretty bad so that's why i came back to 3m these are very costly about 90 rupees a piece as compared to the cheaper ones which were about 40 to 50 rupees a piece but uh, in at the cost at the higher cost we get uh, far better uh, filter quality uh, filter media and the fabric quality so as for the fake ones uh, the first first of all i have told you the packaging should be uh, pretty sealed pack and then we get this manual and you can check the print quality instructions of the manual and the fake ones have pretty bad uh, print quality like a home okay let's just uh, show you <coughs> yeah uh, like this bill you see the the, the bill has very poor print quality the same will be the quality of a fake manual like this very bad ink quality and print quality as for the marks themselves uh, you can i don't think you can um, pretty much uh, differentiate between a fake one and a real one uh, unless you have experience with a genuine but still you can see from the video that the original masks have a very good texture uh, no loose fibers uh, both inside or outside 
and the foam is also uh, pretty thick and the mask itself is pretty thick the ear loops are good quality and pretty stretchable and wear this uh, neck band kind of so you wrap them around your head and behind your neck you lock them like this so so the overall the quality you will get a feel of that in the real mask another thing which you can check is that the serial numbers in the real mask so this is the serial number gb2626 no sorry that's not the number uh, the lot number lot r21230 and on the back of the packet we can see lot r21230 so the serial numbers match uh, the lot numbers match and as for their manufacturing the fake ones mostly come from you know where they come from there's only one famous country and uh, the but these these were made in singapore so that's that's also a good thing all of them have same serial numbers and at last we'll check the quality of filter and for the quality of filter to check what we can do is to i've already checked in one of them so i'm trying to find that one so what you can do is you these masks they have sealed from all the edges so what you can do is you can cut some section a little section from the not so important part from your mask and from there you can see the melt blown fabric the filter you can see how thick that is that's that's the thickness of the filter and i'll show you in comparison other mask so yeah here's the comparison mask i'll try not to show their brand but still you can see on the inner side there are a lot of loose fibers and that's about that's after a week of usage after cycling the mask because during the pandemic it was recommended to that we can cycle the mask and that was about a week of usage you can see there my finger all those loose fibers so that's uh, that's a pretty bad quality of mask you can also see here all those loose fibers and as for the filter itself we can see you can see that it's uh, the most of the mask is filled with just hot air cotton filter and there's very thin layer of melt blown filter itself uh, which is about 25 gsm in thickness and on the 3m masks on the counterpart we can see that the the filter is very thick in comparison to the cheaper brands so yeah that was that was my review for this 3m kn95 mask they, they are a pretty new launch and the, they are basically launched because of these uh, ear loops because 3m didn't have any mask with ear loops and ear loops are pretty much uh, comfortable for a regular person so that was my review and gentlemen check hope you like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button thanks for watching goodbye